Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer DIY upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to factory reset your HP computer. Couple quick things before we get going, guys. First of all, as usual, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. Second and lastly, a quick shout out to my sponsor, NiceHash. IceHash is a one-stop shop for all things crypto and the world's largest hash power marketplace. Whether you're new at the whole world of crypto and you just have some questions on Bitcoin, or even if you're an experienced crypto user, the best way to learn more to get more involved is to actually try mining. And mining on NiceHash is very easy. You don't need any hardware to get going. You can get packages ranging from an hour or more to try to land a block. You can also team up with other people to increase the power of your package. You can click here for more info or at the end of the video, I'll fill you in a little bit more about NiceHash. So now let's get on with the project. So as stated again, the first method I'll show you is from inside Windows, assuming your computer is working fine. The second method I'll show you is if your computer is not booting up to Windows, I'll show you how to get in through the startup options. So from here on your desktop, we'll go down bottom to your search bar. We'll type in reset. As you can see, this option will come up here, your best match, reset this PC under system settings, and that's what we want. So we'll click on that. This next box will come up, system recovery, and right here in the middle, the option reset this PC, we'll click here. And these are the two options where you have a choice now. The top option says keep my files, removes apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. If you wanna save your data, this is what you would choose. The second option on the bottom says remove everything, removes all of your personal files, apps, and settings. So this is what you would do if you wanted to delete everything on your computer and start fresh. So because I'm showing you two different ways of factory resetting in this video, I'm gonna stop here instead of proceeding further. Uh, now you know how to get this process started from the desktop. Now I'm gonna shut off the computer and show you how to access these same options from the startup menu in the event that your computer does not fully load up to Windows. And then I'll show you the full reset process from there since it'll be identical to this. Okay, so now that the computer's shut down, I'm gonna hit the power button and immediately start tapping on F11. You would keep tapping on F11 until the recovery options come up or until you see this on the bottom left entering factory recovery, then you can stop tapping on F11 as I did. So here on this screen, you would choose the option for troubleshoot on the bottom. You would click reset this PC. And these are the two options that we saw in Windows. Uh, these are the same exact options. Your top option here, keep my files removes apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. And then the bottom option, remove everything, uh, removes all of your personal files, apps and settings. So this is exactly where we left it off in Windows, which is why I switched over here. So you only have to see this actual process once, regardless of where you're at, it'll look the exact same. So here I'm just gonna hit keep my files to move forward. Uh, local reinstall, your bottom option, reinstall Windows from this device, that's what I'm gonna pick. If you guys have a restore point saved online or anything like that, you can choose cloud. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna hit local. And there it goes. So this is the last time it's gonna just double check with you, confirm what you're doing, give you a couple warnings before you cross that line of no return. You can still hit cancel, uh, but this is just letting you know this can't be undone. And it's also giving you a warning, make sure your device is plugged in. Uh, this process can be very long, half an hour, maybe more sometimes. And if your computer loses power during this process, it could really damage your operating system to the point where it can no longer be reset or salvaged. You may have to reinstall new. Uh, your operating system instead of resetting it and there will be a chance of data loss so this is just making sure you understand all those things uh, and if you want to proceed you would hit reset all right guys so that's the process to factory reset your hp computer it's not the most involved process but it does help to see what you're getting into one thing to shout out here guys is that after this process there may be a lot of updates that need to be run in order for your computer to be smooth and fast in its operation to get to the video that shows you how to run all those updates click on this link here it'll show you how to run all those updates make sure they're all processed fully uh, so again your computer can run smoothly as mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I do get to those as often as I can. And now as promised, a few extra words on my sponsor, NiceHash. 
So as mentioned earlier guys, NiceHash is a one-stop shop for all things crypto. They are also the largest hash power marketplace in the world. And what that means for you guys is whether you're new at the whole world of crypto and just want to get to know Bitcoin a little better, or whether you're experienced, you can start mining crypto on their site with no hardware on your part needed. You can try joining a mining package for one hour, two hour, four hours, whatever time frame you want, and try mining a block. What's really popular nowadays is joining a mining package with other people to increase the power of the mining package. There's a lot of great tools on the site. You can store your crypto on their wallets. You can use their research tools to look at what other cryptocurrencies are doing. You can use their exchange feature to exchange for other cryptos. Again, guys, it's a one-stop shop for all things crypto. Check them out here again or leave me a message and I'll try to help you out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.